Well, inside this federal courtroom just a few minutes ago, I looked on as the judge looked John Weldon square in the eye, told him what he did was evil. He called him a coward and told them that because of all of this, he needed to make an example out of him, ultimately giving him 13 years and eight months behind bars. We did hear from that 29-year-old in court today. He did get up and give testimony, his voice shaking and begging for mercy. He said what he did was inexcusable. He was also somewhat on edge because the entire time he testified, Remy Jolie stood up and was staring him dead in the eye. We also had very emotional testimony from Lee today as well. She talked about how she was robbed of being a mother and went on to tell the courtroom how she had already named her unborn child Memphis. Now, I was the first reporter to break this story and to speak with Lee. When she came out of court this afternoon, she fell into my arms. You mind if, you mind if we see the picture that she had? Might be hold it up for us. What is it of? This is my baby, Memphis, Remington Lee. Feel bad? Excuse me, ma'am. Of course. Of course you feel bad? Of course I'm remorseful for everything. Now you can see I asked John Weldon a question as he left court. That is the first time he has ever answered reporters during the entirety of this case. Now when the verdict, well, rather when this sentence was read, his father put his head down and cried. There were some members of his family who were hysterical. And I, the judge went on to tell him that justice is finally here and he's ordering Weldon to turn himself into federal marshals Wednesday morning. We're live in downtown Tampa. Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News. Jack